Welcome to Food Trends TV. I'm Dana McCauley, and we're going to start this segment with me asking you a question. Tell me, what do you see when you picture a baby boomer? If it's this, you need to change the way you think. Get rid of that gray hair, get rid of the rocking chair, because today's baby boomers, even though they might be technically senior citizens, are living active, vibrant lives, and they are wanting to enjoy every single minute of it. And with 35% of our population's discretionary income, they're able to have a big impact on the food business. Because baby boomers came of age at a time of excess when wages were high and there were pensions and inflation to grow their asset base, they have deep pockets today. And they use their money to extend their sense of well-being. 20% of all food purchases are made by this demographic group and they are buying uh, healthy foods that uh, speak to ailments they have or are afraid of getting. Things like osteoporosis, arthritis, heart disease, diabetes. Claims like this on labels or on menus are extremely motivational for baby boomers. The other things that can help you to appeal to baby boomers are to understand where they are failing. They may not want to admit it, but a lot of them have diminished eyesight, many have diminished mobility, and they need you to compensate for them so that they don't have to face those harsh realities. So bigger signs, bigger print, magnifiers on shelves, reading glasses passed out and around tables in dimly lit restaurants, those are all ways to gain traction with the baby boomer group. So tell me, what do you think is the bigger opportunity for food businesses? Should they be focusing on millennials or should they be focusing on baby boomers? Maybe they should have products for both. Tell me in the comment section below about how you'd grow your business if you had to choose one or the other. And if you have some time, go back, watch some of the past episodes of Food Trends TV to get caught up on other exciting topics.